Hey guys, I'd like to start off this video by mentioning that in the next couple of weeks, I want to do a Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions at all that you want to ask me, what my favorite color is, where I grew up, anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment down below and mention that your question is for the Q&A video and I'll try my best to get your question on my video. Also, there's just nine more days until my 1000 subscriber giveaway. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. That way that you guys are entered in for that giveaway. For today's video, guys, I'm going to be recreating a more popular keyboard lighting design that was made famous on Razer Synapse 2. So I've recently got a couple of comments from a couple people requesting this lighting design. One was from Sour Memory and one was from ADS Metal. This keyboard lighting design is found on a couple different YouTube videos where they showed top keyboard lighting designs. The profile is called Red Black Pulse and was originally uploaded on the Razer website and it was uploaded by Oxenitra. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate this design in Razer Synapse 3. That way you guys can use it on your newer Razer keyboard models. We're gonna get right into this video. This is Red Black Pulse. All right guys, here we go, red, black, pulse. Click on these three dots and you're gonna wanna make this a wave. Select all of your Razer keyboard lighting. Click on your color drop down, and I'm just gonna keep this first wave pattern and I'm gonna go red, black, and I'm gonna alternate, okay? Red, black, red, black, red, black. Just like this. And I'm going to angle my wave upwards at about <clears throat> 307 ish I'm gonna slow my speed down to 10 and I'm gonna make my width percentage 200 I might even slow it down just a little bit more I'm gonna slow it down to 7 just like that everything else can stay the same and I'm gonna hit save so now just like I do in a lot of my other keyboard lighting videos to randomly get keys going different lighting and while staying within the same color spectrum this is what I like to do I start out with a wave going a direction and go ahead and click off to deselect your keys hold control and just start selecting a bunch of random keys everywhere on your razor keyboard lighting all right so here you can see I've just selected a bunch of random lighting on my razor devices and all I'm gonna do is just change up some of the details. I'm gonna angle this one at 29 degrees, change the width down to 190, and I'm gonna keep the speed the same, and I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm gonna do that same thing again, and I'm gonna do this about five times. Just select a bunch of random keys, change the details just slightly, and just keep doing that five times in a row different keys all the time and you'll get a random pattern with lighting going every which direction but it will stay in the same color tone and it will all gel together this time i'm going to change it up to, at about 348 degrees maybe make this one a little bit bigger put it at width 205 and i might even change the speed to eight that looks good i'm going to hit save and i'm going to do it a third time all right so the third time i'm going to angle this one down and maybe change the percentage to 180 and maybe change the speed to six and hit save and work on a fourth one once again selected a bunch of random keys i'm going to angle this one down here and to the left keep it at 200 and maybe change the speed to eight and do it one more time i think one more time will be good all right this time i didn't select too many keys but i'm going to do this one more time uh, maybe go straight 94, keep the speed at 7, change my width percentage to 210, and hit save. And now you guys can see I have a nice random red and black pattern going off on my keyboard. And now all that's left to do is add the ripple effect. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the ripple layer. Make sure you click on that new layer and select all of your keyboard lighting. All right, so to get this ripple effect layer to work, go ahead and click on your color drop down, and you're gonna wanna make a two-tone ripple pattern. On the far left, you're gonna want this to be white, 
on the far right, you're going to want this color code to be 010000. And you're going to take the black node and you're going to pull it all the way over and completely pinch off the white one. That looks good. Um, on our speed, we're going to want to make this 3. We're going to leave our width percentage at 300. And we're going to change this to start on selected keys. Real quick, I'm going to hold control and I'm going to deselect my mouse. That way, I don't have a ripple effect whenever I click my mouse. If you like to have a ripple effect with your mouse click, you can keep it there. I don't. So we have on selected keys and end after one time. That looks good. I'm going to hit save and now we'll try it out. So you can see when I click on the keyboard, I have a white ripple that immediately turns black and covers all of my keyboard lighting. You can add some extra lighting if you want to kind of beef up your design a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add two wheel lights to my speakers. So I'm going to click on this wheel pattern, click on it, and there's this little green dot here. I'm just going to click and drag that over to my left speaker. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my lighting for the speaker and I'm going to make my wheel effect a five tone pattern. So I have four zones. I have one, two, three, four, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this second zone here and I'm going to close it off. I'm going to make this invisible. I'm going to make this fourth node invisible and I'm going to delete off this last one and I'm going to pinch it in. So now we have just the second and the third nodes that are colored and I'm going to make this one white and I'm also going to make this one white. So now you can see in the second quarter of my color gradient bar, I have just white in there. And now you can see what this looks like over here on my speaker. That looks good to me. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to do the same thing on my right speaker, but I'm going to change the direction and I'm also going to change the gradient a little bit. I'm going to add a new wheel effect. In this new wheel layer, I'm going to grab this center point and put it on the right speaker. And I'm going to select my right speaker lighting. Click on the drop down, make it a five tone pattern. Okay, so for me to get those two in sync on my right speaker, I had to put the color gradient on the far left here. So now you can see they're kind of in sync with each other and they hit the bottom at the same time, they hit the top at the same time. They're just kind of going reverse directions. And that's all there is to this design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys know as soon as I upload new keyboard lighting videos. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you guys go and follow those. That way you guys get sneak peeks into my next keyboard lighting videos. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.